This program is brought to you by Emory University. Cesare Lombroso, he's known generally, he's Italian from Turin, and he died in 1909, and so he was, he's known as the father of modern criminology. And he looked at what were the causes of criminology by looking at physical features. Now, people poo-poo this, but in a way, he was trying to at least say that insanity was not, was something physiological, and we could probably figure out, and so it was something organic. And so he would take pictures of criminals and look at their faces, and and so, so he argued that criminals were more likely, and, and, and he said um, also people who used the word idiots, because that was a diagnosis then, were more apt to be left-handed and left-sided. And therefore, he, he said that, and people, he said, already knew this because they used to always say that left-handers are not to be trusted. And he did this big study, and Torin, uh, he's a very famous, famous guy. And he wrote a book, Criminal Man, and he wrote a book, Criminal Woman. Um, so he wrote all these things, and, and they seem so extreme that everyone sort of said, oh, we would never believe this. But if you look at current research, almost all the questions that Lombroso raised are the very things, we, we, our language is different. We don't call people idiots, so now we call them they suffer from retardation. We don't call these mental illnesses crazy or insane, right? We call them mental illnesses, and we treat them in a, in a different way. But the questions he raised are still the questions we look at today. So I think what Lombroso's story is useful for, it reminds us on the one hand that no matter how persuasive our, because he fit into the whole milieu of what people were doing in the late 19th century. He wasn't an outlier at all. In fact, he was the father of most of this stuff. So it reminds us that we always have to be skeptical of our current scientific claims as if we now have the final answer. And the other thing it reminds us is that certain questions are really persistent despite everything else. The preceding program is copyrighted by Emory University.